200 people were arrested and two shot during Go Topless Jeep Weekend in Texas. And Berlin dance clubs are going to be reopening with strict no dancing rules. And a Texas county tests Zoom trials only for a juror to take a phone call and walk off the screen. These are the weird stories for Wednesday. This is Weird AF News, and I'm your man Jonesy. I'm happy to be here. This is the only daily weird news podcast hosted by a comedian in his underwear. Let's do it. You're listening to Weird AF News with your host, Jonesy. So listen up. Nearly 200 people are arrested and two were shot during Go Topless Jeep Weekend in Texas. A raucous Texas beach event known as Go Topless Jeep Weekend ended with two people hospitalized following a shooting and nearly 200 other people arrested on various charges. Now, is the topless Jeep Weekend, does that mean the people are topless or just the Jeeps are topless? Because it could be either one. It could be both. Both could be topless. The Jeep and the Jeep goers could be topless. Galveston County Sheriff Henry, he said two men were airlifted to the hospital after both of them were shot in the torso during this annual event, which takes place on Bolivar Peninsula. It brings together thousands and thousands of Jeep lovers and four-wheel drive enthusiasts. (laughs) This sounds like a place to stay clear of. (laughs) A group of men and women were arguing. Ooh, this is how the, this is how it escalated. There was a fight. Gunshots rang out. Two men were shot in the torso. The conditions of the men who were hospitalized haven't been released yet. Oh, goodness. Hopefully they're okay. Authorities are looking for a third man who fled the scene and no arrests were made regarding the shooting. How? You should be arresting people when there's a shooting. But this is the Go Topless Jeep event in Texas, you know, which means a lot of people have guns. So it's very difficult to figure out who shot who. (laughs) Everybody has one on their holster. By the time this gathering on the beach ended, more than 180 attendees have been taken into custody on numerous unrelated charges. That's a lot of people. How do you arrest 200 people? That's what I want to know. You have enough cops and jail space? Where do you put 200 people in your little jail in Bolivar Peninsula? The sheriff said the charges include the following. Assault. Driving without wearing a seatbelt. Oh, really? You're arresting people for driving without wearing a seatbelt on Go Topless Jeep Crazy Weekend in Texas? You might as well arrest everybody. DWI? Oh, you might as well arrest everybody there as well. Oh, public intoxication you're arresting people for? What do you expect? This is Go Topless Jeep Weekend in Texas. You don't think there's public intoxication going on? Most of those who were arrested have since bailed out. And they're on their way to uh, Drunk Pantsless Weekend in Mexico. Justin Weaver is a resident of Bolivar. He told the media that he was disappointed in how these people acted at that beach. Well, you know, I'm sorry, Justin. You live in a place where every year crazy people go to your beach with Jeeps and they're topless and they're drinking. Here's a quote from Justin. He's so disappointed. I don't know why it's so hard for people just to show up and have some fun these days. It it disappoints me to see that kind of violence come here because it's usually real quiet around here. Oh, is it quiet around here, Weaver? You have an annual event every year where thousands of people in Jeeps come and get wasted on your beach. Is it really quiet usually? <laughs> what community do you think you're living in, sir? Weaver says that he hopes next time people will, quote, Respect the beach and respect the people that live here. Thousands of people flock to this area every year for this particular gathering. The Bolivar Peninsula Chamber of Commerce President Brenda said she hopes that the arrests and shootings won't define the community. Here's a quote from disappointed Brenda. It's always sad when someone gets hurt on our beach. It's a sad situation because Bolivar Peninsula is a safe, it's a safe place for people to come, I always say. Really, Brenda, is it? You have an, again, you have an annual event called Topless Jeep Bring Your Gun Weekend. Get intoxicated. <laughs> I don't, I, you're confusing this with another peninsula, I think, people. Brenda said a majority of those arrested don't even own Jeeps. <laughs> I can't even blame it on the Jeep people. <laughs> I can't blame it on those Jeep people. <laughs> they're nice people, you know, those Jeep people. Uh, granted, they're not wearing their seatbelt and they've had a few cervezas, but, you know, overall, they're pretty good. They like to do donuts in the sand and topple over those Jeeps. But usually nobody's killed, just maimed a little bit. 
More than 100 people were also arrested at last year's event, the article says. Wow, 100 people were arrested last year, and you're still saying it's usually quiet around here, you know? I don't understand what's going on. Only 100 people were arrested last year. We wish that this year's event could have been as tame as last year's when only 100 people were arrested and one person shot. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You people are just so dumb. Sadly, as you could expect, a video from the weekend's festivities showed many of the attendees were partying and drinking while not practicing social distancing. Of course they weren't. What do you expect? It's Go Topless Jeep Weekend on a Texas beach. Everybody's armed. Everybody's wasted. How can you expect social distancing? Maybe that's why the gunshots were fired, because they needed to remind each other, Hey, back off, bro. Here's a quote from a beachgoer named Chelsea. I'm sure she's got a, something very intelligent to say. Let's hear about it. We've been in quarantine, and I need to get out and party. Party, I said. Yes, of course you do, Chelsea. You got to get out and party. Wash them hands for 20 seconds. Keep them clean. Oh, that's her advice. She's reminding people how to take precautions. Thank you, Chelsea. In your drunken state, I'm going to listen to you. Oh, man. I mean, Texas can just be right next to Florida in states I don't want to be in during a pandemic, for sure. Just people are so dumb. So dumb. It's so sad. Now, if you guys will excuse me, I have to immediately head to San Diego for a topless big wheel event. <laughs> Yay! Berlin dance clubs are going to reopen with strict no dancing rules. I don't know how this is going to work because inherent in the definition of a dance club is, well, dancing, last I checked. I mean, what's the point of going to a dance club if you're not going to do any dancing? You might as well just listen to music in your backyard and drink cheap beer. You know, that's just my opinion. Berlin dance clubs are going to reopen, the article says, but with very strict no dancing rules, social distancing rules. You're not going to be able to talk to anybody, <laughs> dance with anybody. Ooh, what a good time. I'll meet you at the club, guys. Yes, I'll meet you at the dance club in Berlin. No, no dancing, though. What are we going to do, Klaus? Oh, I don't know, Helmet. Perhaps we just sit, sit in the corner and stare across the room at other women, maybe. All the women. Maybe we could dance with our eyes, you know. Maybe you look at a woman a certain way. She knows you want her. She knows you wish you could be dancing with her, moving your body. But instead of doing any of these things, we'll just sit very far away and practice the social distancing as we sip our beers. What do you think, Klaus? I think it's a very good idea, Helmet. Very good. Music will be playing at the club, but no dancing. It won't be allowed. Other safety measure measures, such as only operating table service and requiring customers and staff to wear face masks, will be put in place. Can't you dance with face masks and gloves, though? Like, what about, what about, like, a hazmat suit? Everybody gets a hazmat suit. You write your name and marker on it, and then, you know, you get down. Get down, get down, get down, get down in my hazmat. The venues in Berlin want to open from the early afternoon until 10 p.m. in order to get some trade as lockdown measures ease up in Germany. Berlin's club scene has been hit very hard by the pandemic. Yeah, you know, Berlin has a huge club scene so i've heard yeah and, and they're, they're getting nailed a lot of industries are getting nailed um, it's probably not a good idea to open though quite yet until the dancing is allowed though after all you're a dance club i don't understand it i know like strip clubs are pivoting you know the strippers are, are like delivering food and stuff but at a dance club and you're not going to dance maybe just turn it into a library something like that i don't you can go there have a beer and read some classic literature what about that Club owners don't want to lay down. They want to open up. They say it'll still be costly, but they're going to run partially open venues at reduced capacity. Spaces like Yam, Y-A-A-M. Is that a club? Club Yam? Sounds like a, a delicious place. I love yams. They have a large outdoor area, and uh, so it makes sense economically. They say because they plenty of room to social distance. I guess if you got a huge space, you know, you might be able to survive. But then again, your rent's going to be super high as well. So, oh boy, it's a tough situation. Dance clubs. Uh, I think you got to just hang it up for the time being. I'm sorry. It's like comedy clubs. You know, when is when is a comedy club going to be able to open up? I can't see it happening at any point before the end of the year. I really don't. Which means a loss of work and wages for me. But I. <laughs> It still it, it makes sense to keep them closed, like dance clubs for the time being. Perhaps I'm wrong. Would you guys ever attend a dance club that has a no dancing rule? I mean, would you? It's not even no dancing. You can't even get near somebody and talk to them. So what is the point? 
If you're going to hang out with some friends, why would you get together at a place you can't be near them? It makes no sense. Just have them come over to your house or something or meet in, a, meet in a park. I don't know. I'm just trying to brainstorm here. It just seems very silly that a dance club would be operating at all, especially with the no dance rule. Call the show, though, 646-450-2012. Anybody in the Germany area? You like podcasts? You're listening to my podcast. Maybe you thought to yourself, I'd like to make a podcast. Too difficult. No, not with Anchor. Anchor has free creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. Anchor distributes your podcast to Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, and more. They have advertising integration, so you can even make a little money off your podcast. Everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And good luck with your podcast. Good luck with your creation. Good luck with your life, man. A Texas County tests Zoom trials only for a juror to take a phone call and walk off screen. <laughs> what a bad idea. <laughs> Zoom trials. Are you out of your mind, Texas? A Texas county is trying to break some new ground by holding a jury trial over Zoom during the coronavirus pandemic. And they had a problem when one of the jurors walked off the screen to take a phone call. <laughs> Don't you know phones are supposed to be off in court, jurors? Everybody knows that. You turn your phone off in court, okay? Airplane mode. Have you heard of it, Texas? The incident unfolded Monday during an insurance case that was being heard in Collin County. It was also being live-streamed to YouTube. <laughs> that seems strange. It just is a, it's like a public case. You live-stream it to YouTube. Is that okay? What a joke this is, the whole thing. During the jury selection process, Judge Emily Miskell created three Zoom video conferencing rooms, one where attorneys could question a group of prospective jurors, a second for those awaiting questioning, and a third where Miskell uh, could speak to the lawyers privately. All right, this judge is just trying to make it work during the pandemic. I get it. I get it. This is a very... Well, I think you're setting the bar too high, though, Judge Emily, but um, I like where you're going. After conferring with the attorneys during a break... The judge returned to one of the rooms only to find that a candidate had walked off screen. He was heard talking very loudly on his phone through the Zoom camera. <laughs> when the juror was called to return, they got no answer as his computer audio was being transmitted through a pair of headphones that he wasn't wearing. Eventually, the individual juror returned and another judge was able to dismiss around half of the eligible 26-person pool. For centuries, if you had jury duty, you have to go to the courthouse, said another judge. In this case, the courthouse has come to you in your home. Texas Supreme Court Justice Nathan Hecht said, You can't drag people down to the courthouse and make them sit together for days at a time, can you? It's just too dangerous right now. You don't have to be so angry about it, Justice Nathan. The one-day trial was a so-called summary jury trial in which jurors heard a condensed version of a case and delivered a non-binding verdict. Okay, so I guess it wasn't that serious of a case. You can't have anything serious being done via Zoom with the jury at home in their underwear. Just can't have it, man. You can't count on that. It's not It's not going to be authentic. It's too much risk involved. You know, these things are supposed to be private and stuff. You, know, you could have a whole family in the background listening to the case. You can't have that, you know? But I suppose in this case, it's not so serious of a thing. It's an insurance case, blah, blah, blah. So they're trying it via Zoom. I get it. Yeah, try and move move ahead with justice and law the best that you can during a pandemic. I get it. I get it. But, you know, don't expect it to be perfect. I mean, you're going to get jurors wearing no shirt, eating a sandwich, you know, playing video games in the background. This is going to happen. It is. Jurors. I mean, what do you th what do you expect? These are regular citizens. Do you think they give a shit? <laughs> This is one of the reasons why I think the trial by jury process is so lame. You know, we tout it as the greatest form of justice. Yes, you are giving a trial of jurors, you know, a jury of your peers. Yeah, as if you're doing me a favor by having a jury of my peers. Okay, look, at I've hung out with my peers. I want smarter people, please. <laughs> my peers, the people that are chomping on Tide Pods and putting it on video, those people, the people that are peeing their pants on camera and putting it on TikTok, my peers, you're going to you're gonna put my fate in their hands? No, no, thank you. No, thank you. I don't want peers, okay? I want some professionals. That's what I want. There's a lot of people out of work with a PhD. Why don't you make them the juror? <laughs> okay? I don't need my freaking peers to decide what happens to me if I'm on trial. No, thank you. <laughs> Am I out of my mind for saying that? I don't think so. If you like podcasts, 
Check out Spotify. You can listen to all your favorite artists and podcasts in one place for free. You don't even need a premium account. Spotify has a huge selection of podcasts on every topic, including this one that you're listening to right now. And you can easily share what you're listening to with friends on Instagram as well. So download the Spotify app, search for your favorite podcast, and also make sure to follow Weird AF News and never miss an episode. Yes, download Spotify and make your life easier. Yay! I remember when I used to sit in a small closet recording weird news. <laughs> no weird news, no cry. Sing along with me. You guys know the one. You know that famous Bob Marley song, No Weird News, No Cry? You know the one. <laughs> I've had too much coffee, clearly. Hey, what's up, weirdos? I'm just saying hi, you know, as we close out the episode. Thanks for being here. Appreciate your presence. Appreciate you lending an ear or two or five. I don't know if you're an alien. Maybe you have five ears. Who the hell knows? Maybe that's the future of podcast listening. Five damn ears. Um, I had a great time with the show today. I hope you did as well. Thanks for calling the show, those of you who did. Emailing me um, articles. It's been very helpful. I appreciate all of you for reaching out. Jonesy is healthy. Uh, Jonesy has a uh, had to get a day job, so Jonesy's working uh, during the day some of these days. Still putting out the podcast, though. Uh, I will never miss a day. That's how I'm going to do it uh, because I know you guys count on it, and I'm going to make it part of your life on a daily as it is part of my life on a daily, and I'm happy to do so. So I appreciate you guys all. Uh, I read a lot of um, reviews earlier in the week, and they were just fantastic. So um, if any of you could take a moment and help me out by leaving a review, if you haven't already, I would so appreciate that uh, on iTunes or Amazon, which is really the only place to really live, leave reviews that are impactful is those two places. So I would appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, as always, check out my Patreon where uh, you can donate to the show and uh, make it so that maybe someday Jonesy doesn't have to work a day job <laughs> all day long. Uh, no, no, no. It's like, I'm not above a day job. All right. Look, I'm doing it. You know, all of my comedy money is now is pretty much gone. No, there won't be any stand up comedy for the time being. So Jonesy had to pivot, but it's called surviving in the world. And that's what we do. Right. But yes, if you could uh, find it in your heart to uh, join the Patreon, that would be tremendous, tremendously appreciated. It's patreon.com slash weird AF news. Uh, yeah. Go on there and help me keep the lights on, baby. Uh, and enjoy the bonus episodes and all the extra content. I appreciate that. Uh, as always, you can hit me up on social media at Funny Jones on Instagram, at Funny Jones on Twitter, and on Facebook, it's Comedian Jonesy. The email, funnyjones at gmail.com. Yeah, send me articles, or if you want to say what's up, you can do so. Um, if you'd like to send me a care package of any sort, just uh, reach out to me and ask me for my address. I'm not shy. Um, just don't send me uh, anything illegal in the mail, please. Okay, I'm trying to uh, I'm I'm trying to be an upstanding citizen in the community. Okay, I can't be I can't be having contraband sent to me. Okay, all right. I'm just kidding. Please send me contraband. I love it. <laughs> no jokes, jokes, jokes. Disclaimer, disclaimer. Weird AF News does not condone mailing contraband through the U.S. mail or any other mail from any other country. Got to do that so I don't get sued, guys. Can't afford a lawsuit at this point, guys. Can't afford a lawsuit. Daddy's got a day job. <laughs>